We are Australian Submarine Corporation, the company chosen to build the Royal Australian Navy's new underwater fleet, which will have the task of defending our island nation into the 21st century. Australian Submarine Corporation Proprietary Limited is jointly owned by Australian and Swedish interests. The Australian Collins class submarine is a different boat from these Swedish submarines seen here patrolling the Baltic. It is designed to serve in different seas, yet it has the benefits of Sweden's experience and reputation as producers of the most effective and the most silent of conventional submarines in service anywhere around the world. The Collins class design responds directly to the Royal Australian Navy's requirements the result of decades of experience in the operation of sophisticated submarines in our region of the world. Included are appropriate technologies that have been developed and refined progressively over the three most recent classes of submarines built for the Royal Swedish Navy. Kockums, the Swedish government-owned submarine builder, started early. The first submarine left their yard in 1914. Since 1914, Cockhams have designed and launched, on average, a new submarine class every five years. For the Australian project, three quarters of a century of Cockhams' design and construction experience is being drawn upon to produce a state-of-the-art warship. Australian engineers have been seconded from ASC to Cockhams in Sweden for the first several years of our project during the important design phase learning and working with Cockham's experienced people. The design for Australia benefits from long-term research effort by Cockham's in computer-aided design and manufacture. The company has a world lead in adapting this technology to submarines. One of the advantages gained is the production of three-dimensional drawings, showing every detail and providing engineering insights not available from other systems of design. Details of the overall performance of the submarine cannot be publicised. What can be said is that the Collins class meets and in some areas exceeds the Royal Australian Navy's demanding requirements. Also met and exceeded are the government requirements for Australian industry involvement in the submarine project. Work on Australia's new submarines uses the modular system of design and construction devised by Cockham's. Cockham's developed the modular system to solve a problem common to both Sweden and Australia, the widespread dispersal of manufacturing industry. The modular system allows whole sections of submarines to be built near completion at widely separated sites and brought to a central plant for assembly. Many of Australia's most progressive companies are already involved in the project, and altogether more than 60 companies are involved, as suppliers of material and equipment purchases for the submarines, and by tendering on subcontract work packages, either directly to ASC or to first or lower tier subcontractors. Australian companies are benefiting from new technologies acquired from overseas specifically for the submarine project, all the way from steel making to microelectronics. Through the submarine project, many of these companies are establishing relationships with specialist European and North American designers and manufacturers. Relationships which themselves have the potential to spawn future business, both here and overseas. A rigorous program of checking and testing is necessary to ensure that the materials and equipment that go into the submarines meet the demanding standards specified. The specialised steel developed for the submarine hull is produced in Australia using Swedish steel technology. The material has been subjected to explosion bulge testing in a remote location in the Snowy Mountains in southern New South Wales. It had to be proven that this structural steel could absorb the energy released in the explosion specified, deforming in accordance with expectations, but not shattering. Nothing is left to chance. 
Australian Submarine Corporation's new facilities are located on the Port River at Osborne, adjacent to Port Adelaide, South Australia. As well as being the new home for ASC's management, engineering and administrative functions, the new submarines are being assembled in the large workshops at the facility. Launching of the submarines and the performance of harbour acceptance trials will also take place here. The 20 hectare complex, consisting of 14 substantial buildings and one of the largest ship lifts in Australia, was opened in November 1989 by the Prime Minister in the presence of the Premier of South Australia. Since that time, submarine production has been moving steadily ahead in the workshops at Osborne. The hull of each of our new submarines has been designed in six sections, each of which is built and fitted out separately before the completed submarine is finally brought together. This approach allows flexibility and the opportunity to apply more resources to production. Apart from the technical complexities, the management challenge of the submarine project has required an impressive commitment of people and other resources from ASC. Project management involves people making professional judgments and taking actions. Access to all types of information is necessary for decision making. ASC's integrated management system facilitates this requirement. Utilizing outside expertise from recognized world leaders in the field, ASC has developed and is refining a necessarily complex computer-based management information system. It brings together systems such as cost schedule control, configuration management, manufacturing resources planning and integrated logistics support, and importantly, integrates them with the functional areas of design, procurement, production and quality assurance. Adoption of the best management systems available, combined with the experienced management team being developed, will leave a significant expertise in Australia that can be applied to future projects. It's a bold venture. It's something Australia has never done before. But in the Australian Submarine Corporation, there are all the skills and commitment, all the determination for success. It's our main aim to ensure that Australia's submariners of the 21st century will go to sea in the best boats of their type in the world, the Collins class. And they will have been made in Australia.